If you guys love the NFL, then subscribe. We have weekly live shows. It's how we do these mailbags we're doing right now, right? We get your questions in and we answer them live. And you got to be subscribed, otherwise you'll miss that push notification when it happens for all of our live shows. If you want more free NFL coverage, hit that big red button right now. From Sterling Alba, which NFL teams are boom or bust? My guess is the Cowboys. Fly, Eagles, fly. If you want to like the like the either they have great success or they fall apart, like they're the riskier teams. Um, I'm worried about Tennessee this year being great to maybe not so great uh, from that standpoint. Uh, the AFC is so loaded overall. You could pick almost any of them. You could see a team like the, the the Browns if maybe they don't like Watson, they all fall apart. That's possible. The Colts with an older quarterback in Matt Ryan. Any AFC West team could either win the division or finish fourth. That's how loaded it is there in the end. Um, beyond that, <sighs> couldn't it be the Eagles if Hurts is not taking a step forward? Uh, I think the Bears could be big if Hurts takes a big step forward. Teams with, the, with a young QB, the Patriots fit that mold. There are a lot of boomer bust teams this year. Evan Hinders, Bills trade AJ Panessa to the Falcons for a fourth round pick. Decent destination you got there, Evan, of sending Epines to Atlanta. They could always use more pass rush help. I don't love his fit in their 3-4 scheme, and I don't think that Epinesa is worth a fourth round pick. I think it's more of a maybe a fifth, a sixth might be more uh, in, in line with that value there. Epinesa is a perfect trade candidate at this point because – he is fourth on that depth chart, former second-round selection. I like your mindset there. I just don't think the Falcons or the cost is quite right. From Anaki Williams, where will Baker Mayfield play this year? I don't know. Uh, anywhere to an extent. The market for Baker has not gone the way the Browns thought it was going to. Plus, I think teams are mad at them for, for fully guaranteeing Watson's salary. Some teams to keep an eye out for. Via trade or cut. First two are probably more cut. Second three are trades with the Browns eating some money. Lions and Giants, let them compete. Bring them in on a cheap one-year deal. See what happens. Texans. Sign or trade him to have him be with Davis Mills. Carolina and Seattle. Their starters are Sam Darnold and Drew Locke. And those guys aren't good at football, like objectively speaking. So why not bring in Baker? He probably is a better option than those two guys. So I want, to, I want you guys to answer the other question here from Anaki. Where will Baker Mayfield play in 2022? Head down to the comments section and make your predictions. This question is the pinned comments on today's video. So if you're watching on YouTube and the ad break comes here, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. From Selik Zinka, Zinka, I mispronounced that. I'm sorry, my friend. Can the Eagles trade Rager and some picks to the Ravens for Chuck Clark, or can they get Jesse Bates from the Bengals? Allegedly, Philadelphia didn't want to go get Chuck Clark, which I thought was dumb. He's a good football player and feels a big-time need. Uh, Rager and picks, I think, could actually make a lot of sense for both sides. Of course, you're selling low on Rager, but he's been bad, so that makes sense. If they could go get Bates for a second rounder, that would be an awesome move by Philadelphia. That's paying big-time money, but they are a lot more aggressive than Almost any NFC team not named the Saints or the Rams are, and I respect the hell out of them for it. From the past master, a $5 super. Thank you, my friend. Tom, just, just a comment. I wanted to say, give the great work, Chat Sports. Great content, great conversations, and great people. Thank you. Thank you, past master, for your support. We are trying to get to 300,000 subscribers here at Chat Sports, past 292K. You guys are awesome. All of this is possible. Thanks to everybody watching. I thank you all so much for subscribing. And if you haven't already, maybe the pitch from the past master gets you to sub. Hit that big red button right now. From Hello Friends, do you think Aaron Jones may be traded? I don't think so. Aaron Jones, and for what the Packers want to do, is important. They want to run the football a decent amount. With both Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon, the number one reason why I don't think he gets dealt is the Packers restructured his contract earlier this offseason. He has a minimal $5.9 million cap hit. If they trade him, they save a grand total of less than $2 million. It's not worth it for them. 
Now, next offseason, a very different conversation. That contract is easy to get out of for Green Bay. So this year, no. Next year, maybe. From Epps CX, Will Anderson or Jalen Carter? So this is Bama edge rusher Will Anderson and Georgia defense lineman Jalen Carter as we sit in the way too early process, two of the best players in next year's draft class. No wrong answer. Carter's going to be a stud. So is Anderson. But had both guys been draft eligible, I think Anderson would have been the first player taken in this year's class. And Carter might have been number two, to be honest. Anderson is a stud. I think he is the best player in all of college football. I thought he was that last year as well. From Ugad, the Packers supposedly have like 17 million in catfish. Who should they sign? Um, Julio Jones or Odell Beckham? I look at the receiving core right now for Green Bay, and I see Alan Lazard, Christian Watson, whatever shell of Sammy Watkins remains, Amari Rodgers, and a washed-up Randall Cobb who Rodgers loves. Give me a receiver. Maybe another offensive lineman to help protect Rodgers as well. Now, you saw some super chats earlier. And if you're watching on demand, you can't watch our live shows, that's okay. That's why we put these videos out on demand a couple times a day because we know that not everyone can watch our live shows. Well, YouTube has now added super thanks, allowing you to donate outside of live videos. Click the little thanks icon if you're watching on demand. It's the heart with the dollar sign in the middle of it. And you can edit your message, pick your amount, and donate. If you have questions, we will answer them on a future. We'll just grab the question, bring it up like we do for the Super Chats, and give you guys a shout-out. Any Super Thanks, whether it's a question or just a, a thank you and a donation, we will give you a shout-out on a future show. We appreciate everyone who supports us here at Chat Sports, And if you want to do the Super Thanks stuff too, that's awesome. From Nick McKee, who is better, Jair Alexander or Jalen Ramsey? Uh, yes is my question, or is my answer there. Jair Alexander, Packers fans still tell you he's better. Jalen Ramsey, well, Ramsey will tell you he's better. Ramsey probably gets more national hype just because he's a bigger name than Alexander. I think if you're picking the two best corners in the NFL, it's probably these two guys, Alexander and Ramsey, 1A, 1B, 1B, 1A. Uh, I'll probably go Ramsey, but Alexander is a stud. He is worth everything. Every penny the Packers paid him. Both of those guys are a lockdown, shutdown corners. They are they are elite at their position. From SM, when will the Aaron Donald extension get done? Good question. Um, maybe in like June or July. Uh, the Rams paid him in twenty. His deal ends in twenty twenty four. I think he, of course, I think is the best player uh, non QB in the NFL. I love Aaron Donald. Pay him whatever he wants. Like the Rams don't care about no cap space because it's not real anyway. Uh, so I think before the season it does get done, and I'm very curious just how much he ends up going for. Remember, the Rams also want to pay Cooper Cup as well. From Wonder Bangle, who is. Wondering about the Bengals. Uh, are the Bengals going to have to trade away Jesse Bates? Maybe. We are in what, what, what I call the contract negotiation stage, where Bates has leaked to USA Today that he has no intention of playing under the franchise tag, and he wants a long-term deal right now. Now, Bates has not signed his franchise tag tender, meaning he is able to to not be fined. He can skip minicamp, OTAs, all the mandatory camp stuff and not be fined unlike players under contract. So that makes it more plausible he does not show up when things get going later on in June and July for Cincinnati. The Bengals took Daxton Hill in round one. That's a potential heir apparent. So a trade is possible, although Bengals are trying to win games right now. Some teams to watch for here. Philadelphia... I, I, that makes a lot of sense to me. Miami, under the radar destination. I, I, I like Brandon Jones, but Javon Holland and Jesse Bates, that's a dynamic pairing right there. The Rams, they could use an impact safety in the mold of a, of a, of a high-end impact player, and they've got the picks and money to say F it. The Commanders and Jets are under the radar fits there. I think Bates in New York would actually be awesome for the Robert Sala defense. That's a big upgrade over Ashton Davis and LaMarcus Joyner at safety. 
So what do you think, in the end, the Bengals will end up doing with Jesse Bates? Type T for they're going to trade him. Type P for no, no, no. They'll pay him, get a long-term deal done before week one of the season. Or W for, you know what? They're going to wait, and they're going to call Bates' bluff and get him to show up and play on the franchise tag this year. From Lewis Roses, who do you think the Raiders should replace Brian Eds Edwards with? I see the, the Raiders taking OBJ, just curious. Um, I'm not sure how much they'll really devote to another receiver because they, they, they gave away Edwards. And they signed, of course, Demarcus Robinson. They signed Keelan Cole. And, of course, trade for Devontae Adams. And remember, for that offense, the number two outside receiver is their fourth target in the passing game. That can be Demarcus Robinson. So I think they'll sign somebody. I don't know if it's going to be a big-time receiver, though, for this team. For, from Melly DeMoney, think Dak will have a great year this year. I think so. I am worried that the, the supporting cast, I think, got worse in Dallas, but Dak has played at a top-10 quarterback level across his NFL career, so I would expect more of the same, even though he's not a Josh Allen Mahomes type. From Rodney Peter, could the Dolphins cut their losses and trade Austin Jackson or Liam Eikenberg? Good question. Um, maybe. The Dolphins' overhaul of the offensive line has been super impressive, and all that's missing is maybe just J.C. Treader uh, at that center spot. Teron Armstead, Connor Williams, and hopefully not Connor Williams at center, fixes your left side of the offensive line. Robert Hunt is one starter at guard. I think they'll let guys like Eikenberg and Jackson compete at right tackle, the issue is they were they were bad last year. Now, the offense was pretty mediocre overall for for the for Miami last year, and I think Jackson's a great fit for what they want to do on offense under Mike McDaniel. And a bad offensive line means everyone plays bad. But this these numbers are they're to to paraphrase a once great high school QB. They're ass, my dude. They're not good. Nine sacks. 40-plus hurries allowed by both players. Bad run grades from PFF. Neither player had a good season. But they were early-round picks, which means somebody could show interest in a trade. Six teams that are in the market more notably for potential right tackle or left tackle help, which both guys have played right and left tackle in the NFL. The Falcons, because Caleb McGarry stinks. The Bears, left tackle. Denver, right tackle. The Raiders, I guess right tackle, it's Alex Lillard, I, think it's, I guess it's going to be a guard for them. Get Storm Norton off the field, Chargers, I beg of you. And the Steelers, maybe a, a competitor for Dan Moore. To be honest, it kind of looks like Austin Jackson's a bust. At least so far, but he's young, that could change. And I mentioned guys like Caleb McGarry, probably also a bust. I want you guys to be a hater for me in the comments section. Name a draft bust recently taken by your favorite NFL team. From Super Yoshi 6616, is David Johnson ever going to play again? I don't know. Um, he looked kind of washed the past two years. I thought that about Devonta Freeman too. I think he'll get a chance for somebody. What I don't know is if he actually makes a 53-man roster in the end. From Felix, Will Debo be used the way he was used last year? Uh, maybe not quite as much on the ground. The, the Niners, in theory, should be in better shape uh, in terms of the ground game with Elijah Mitchell, Trey Sermon. They drafted uh, Tyrion Davis-Price in the third round, I believe. I don't think they'll have, they'll have to give him as many carries. They will give him the ball, assuming he's on the San Francisco Niners again, in that rotation. They will give him the ball in high-leverage spots. As many carries... No. Some, if the two sides come to a contract agreement, yeah, I still think so in the end. 